Hi everyone, so here we are. Um, before we start with our lesson, um, as a teacher, you have to establish connection with your student. Okay, so not only for teachers, for parents also. So how are you going to establish connection? So, of course, in establishing connection, you, you have to see to it that uh, you have an eye-to-eye -eye contact with your student, okay? Hindi naman yung eye-to-eye contact na should be like um like sweet, <laughs> sweet, sweet look. <laughs> So our lesson today, you will enjoy it a lot because we are going to play, play and learn. Okay, so are you ready? Good job. So you have to listen to teacher Lisa, look at teacher Lisa's doing and focus on our lesson. Okay, so this is just a matter of one hour. And in that one hour, we are going to do a lot of things. So don't miss it. Okay? So, yeah. Okay, so you can do that. You can do some pambobola with them to get their attention. For you to have connection with them. Kasi kung wala kayong eye-to-eye -eye contact, um, walang, parang walang connection, di ba? So, ang technique kasi pag nag... nag Pag, ang technique kasi pag nag uh, ano tayo, nag-teach online hindi tayo dapat uh, we should not look at the screen of our computer or the screen of our phone we should look at the lens okay kasi pag tumingin ka sa lens ng yung computer or your yung phone mo Parang ikaw ay nakikipag eye to eye contact with your viewers, okay? So ang hirap, de ba? Yun ang dilemma ng ano? Yun ang dilemma ng online teaching, de ba? Ang hirap ma establish yung eye to eye contact, de ba? So while I'm waiting for my class, I am having my coffee. Parang late na nga ako. So ayun. So, yun, kailangan muna ma-establish yung connection. Kasi kung walang connection, bago ka mag-start ng klase, oh my God, parang walang mangyayari. Okay, so, um, I'll gonna show you the video of my lesson today and I hope you guys enjoy. Hey, good morning everyone. So, welcome to my channel. This is Teacher Lisa again and, um, for today's lesson, I'm going to give my students a lot of vocabularies, okay? Like zoo animals, favorite food, um, colors, shape, rooms in the house, and a lot more, okay? So, um, after this intro, let's start! Vocabulary that I'm going to give them will be useful in the game that we are going to play later so of course good morning Hi. so in this greeting i put some pictures of kids learning so from here you can you can ask your students what they see what they see in the picture what they're doing and um, are they happy? Are they sad? So yeah, you will you will start creating conversation. Okay, so move, let's move to the lesson proper. Okay, so as I've said this time, I'm going to give uh, a lot of vocabularies from different things. Okay, so. The first lesson is about zoo animals. Okay, so of course, in this kind of lesson, 
you are going to let your student identify first the animals in the picture okay so you have to give them time to identify the animals in the picture if they can't do then it's your time to help them okay so let's move to the first picture the first picture is a leopard leopard okay so leopard and then as a teacher you can also write here here the word leopard okay leopard you can type it on okay as you start your class okay this one i am talking about like um teaching using zoom okay so the next picture is a giraffe a giraffe okay so from this you can write also the word giraffe okay so para na para naiintindihan nila kung ano yung giraffe at alam nila yung word na giraffe so you can let them read and spell the word giraffe Okay, ano yung purpose? Bakit hindi ko nilagay yung names with the picture? Dahil meron game afterwards. Okay, so the next picture is a zebra. Zebra. Okay, so in this, you can also ask your student, what letter begins with the word zebra? Okay, so you can ask many things for them to learn. Okay, it's up to you already what you're gonna say. Okay, next picture are flamingos. Okay, flamingo. Flamingos. Okay, you can let your student count the flamingo or you can ask the color or they like flamingo or or what is flamingo something like that you can ask many things okay and the last picture okay it's a monkey okay and what is the monkey doing you can ask like that it's yawning uh, yawning maybe the monkey is sleepy okay so you can ask many things you can say a lot of things out of this five drawings okay let's move now let's talk about your favorite food okay alam nyo naman ang kids you know kids love spaghetti okay spaghetti okay Ito ay spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> spaghetti bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese. Okay. And the next one is pizza. Do you like pizza? Marik ka magtanong ng ganyan. Do you like pizza? Okay. So the next picture is a hamburger. A hamburger, a cheeseburger, diba? In the Philippines, we call this amazing aloha. <laughs> okay, so it's so big. Okay. The next picture, of course, the favorite, the most favorite, is the chicken. 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 Okay, so you can talk with your with your students about this food or other food that they love to eat okay not necessarily this okay there are kids that they like ice cream they like a lot of things okay they like they like a lot of food okay so they have their own idea you can ask them also these are just an example right Okay, so let's move. Move, move, move. Next 
is colors. Okay, so colors. What's your favorite color? You can ask that. Okay, how many colors are there? So they can count and they can name the colors like white, black, brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and gray. Okay, so colors. Okay, so you can ask, you can also ask a lot of things. What's your favorite color? What's the color of the rainbow? What's the color of an apple? A lot, a lot of things. Okay, next lesson. Okay, so places in the house. Okay, this is very important. So that kids at an early age, they know how to identify the places at home. Okay, the first picture is a bedroom. Okay, you can also ask, what do you do in the bedroom? I sleep. I relax. I sleep. I relax. Right? Okay. So, what's the color of your bed? Of course, the kid will gonna say pink, blue, white, or whatever. You can talk a lot of things about bedroom. Okay? Next picture is a kitchen. Okay? What do you do in the kitchen? Of course, we, eat, we cook food, okay, with mom, we bake cake a lot, okay. So the next picture is a dining room, okay. A dining room is a place where you eat, okay. So it's very easy, mom and teacher, to talk anything that will make your kids um, interested, active, and learn a lot. Okay, next picture is a bathroom. Okay, what do you do in a bathroom? Okay, so take a shower. Okay, so you can ask anything, many things about bathroom. Okay, the last picture is the living room. Okay, what do you do in the living room? I watch TV, I read book, um, I relax, I talk with my siblings, I talk with my mom and dad, my grandma, my grandpa, and a lot. Okay. So, like, like what I've said, you can also write the word, okay, after Nilama recognize. Okay, so let's start with the game. Now, it's time for our game. Can you name five zoo animals? Okay, so they already have idea what are the zoo animals so okay so they can name from the picture that you've shown a while ago or they can name their own zoo animals okay so this is name game okay the next one is name at least five of your favorite food okay while they are naming those favorite food that they that they like you can write down the names okay because uh, um, in zoom you have this kind of annotation we click the annotation 
and you can you can choose if you want to draw draw or write a text or you can you can choose also the colors that you wanted to use okay so next is name five colors okay eto this you help your kid to comprehend and remember what you have talked okay very important okay next is name five shapes did i did i include shapes here so i don't have shapes here hello okay ito i forgot but but parents teachers it doesn't matter if you forgot to show them the picture but you can also you can also ask them about their the about five shapes and you can draw it here and you can write it here okay next is name five rooms in the house okay bedroom kitchen bathroom and their most favorite draw five school things okay kids they really love to draw okay they really love to draw they really love to color so you have to you have to give them chance to do the things that they wanted to do okay then say goodbye see you again next time okay this lesson will take an hour okay so one this is for one hour lesson so kung mamadali inyo if you make it like quickly you will not going to you will not going to add a lot of things to ask a lot of things to do so you, the one hour this this lesson won't be enough for one hour but believe me if you are going to ask many things to your students this le lesson will be more than enough for one hour and guys they will learn a lot of things from you okay so i also i also put some story to read okay maybe because not all students are slow okay so there are some students that they are quick and like fast learners okay so for them i always have something to read okay so this time the story that uh, i'm going to read with them is about let's be friends okay let's be friends so ito lang it's just a two paragraph short story with a picture and after reading the story you can ask also who is your best friend do you have a friend who is your best friend what do you usually do with your friend right so what do you usually do together what game are you playing and a lot more so i hope guys you learned something from this lesson that i have today and um if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel and don't forget to click the subscribe button the notification bell so that you will be ad updated to my upcoming videos and guys um i want to tell you that i will always have a live streaming random i don't have a specific time but um i decided to have a live streaming at least three times a week so i'm gonna put my schedule next time in my next video so that you will be aware that i have live streaming okay so guys if you are already with me for such a long time because i've been in youtube for two years so uh, no no one year so yeah thank you very much for always tuning in and um please click like and share button and don't skip the ads thank you so much and have a wonderful day happy learning hi hi way ha good
Good morning. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, Leo. How are you? <laughs> You're fine. Okay, closer to the to your computer. Okay, so what did you have for breakfast? Spaghetti. Oh my god, spaghetti. And what else? Spaghetti. Did you? Oh, did you did you drink milk? Yes. Oh, good job, good boy. Okay, so are you ready? Yes. Okay, good job. So let's start. Okay. <clears throat> the first thing that we're going to do is reading practice, and after that. We will learn a lot of vocabularies and then play. Okay, we're gonna learn a lot of vocabulary and play, right? Okay, so what do you see on your screen? <gasps> okay, kids, what are they doing? Okay, they're playing. The, the other picture, they're playing, right? They're smiling. And the other photo, they're reading, right? Where do you think they are? They, they are in? In school? Or library? Library, the other one, the, the first picture... The three kids are in the library. Yeah. Do you know what is a library? I don't know. Oh, library is the place where you can read books. You can read books, you can borrow books. And it's a very it's a very quiet place because it's a place to read and study okay yeah yes. we, <laughs> we had look at your screen okay let's begin okay let's begin okay so we had look at your screen Look at your screen. Are you looking at your screen? Yeah. Okay. So, on your screen, you will going to see letters. Vowel letters. A-E-I-O-U. Okay. So, what are you going to do with the A-E-I-O-U? You are going to make a word. Okay? okay? Okay. So, okay. So, A E I O U. You are going to choose one letter to make the word complete. Okay. Teacher Lisa will go to write the letter that you're going to say. Okay. Okay. The first, the first one. What is that letter? A. Okay. Very good. Okay. Letter A. Cat. <laughs> good job. Okay. Okay. The next, the next letter. What is it that will gonna make this word? Huh? Again. B. Hmm. Where do you sleep? Where do you sleep? Okay, bed. 
So, what letter are we going to add? What letter? D. Yeah, good job. This is just a practice way. Huh? Ay, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm gonna write A for here. And then the what the next one is E, right? 